guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the solitaire game mode for Panzer Order's Tank Battles. Now in some ways the solitaire game has uh, some of shared mechanics with the two player game and also has quite a few unique elements uh, unto itself. So I'm going to talk through how it, exactly how it works. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to decide which deck you'd like to play. So in this, in this video I am playing the German deck playing against uh, the Soviets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, six cards from the opposing deck. Two, three, four, five, six. And I, without looking at them, I'm going to put them into two opposing battle groups of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm going to take 12 cards from my deck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I am going to create two battle groups of four. Um, for the purposes of this video, I'll just do it quite quickly. Uh, normally, you'd probably spend a little bit more time thinking about what you want it to do. Um, got Sturmger Schutz, Panzer IV. Let's have a couple of pounds of fours and a marder. Um, I've got two groups of four and I've got two enemy groups of three. Uh, and I should have four cards in my hand. Okay. For the first turn, I'm going to reveal the cards in the opposing battle group. So I can see the Soviet forces here. I've got a T-34, T-34 with a slightly bigger gun. SU 152, and here T 34, another T 34, and uh, an SU 100. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to draw some more cards for my hand. I'm going to draw four more cards. Got two Sturmgeschutz, Panzer III. And a Panzer IV. And every turn after this, I don't draw four cards every turn, I just draw one, but on the first one I get an extra four cards. And there's a reason for this, which I'll, I'll come to. Um, I'm going to uh, reinforce, the first thing I'm going to do is reinforce my two groups. So I'm going to say, oh, I'll just, uh, for the sake of purposes of this video, I'll put a Tiger in there, and I'll put a Panzer III in there, Panther in there, another Panzer four in there. So I've reinforced my two battle groups. Um, uh, next thing I would do is decide if I want to move any cards from this group into this group, but in the purposes of this video, I'm not going to do that. Um, but this is normally where you would do that phase, just moving the cards. And it fundamentally works the same way as the um, two player game. Uh, if you do, uh, uh, move a card from there to there, then your the opposing force will fire on uh, the moving card, and the um, the solitaire rules explain how to do that. But for the sake of this purpose of this video, let's keep it there. Let's keep it simple. Uh, the next thing I would do is decide which cards will go hold down. To go hold down, I simply turn them round. So let's put these two there. Hold down just to illustrate that purposes. Um, when in they're in the in the hold down, just like a two player game, they can't fire, but they're in a more defensive um, state. The advantage to putting cards in a hold down it helps protect your battle group. When a battle group uh, is destroyed, defeated, you cannot create a new one. Um, and the surest way to defeat is to lose a group because then all the opposing cards will be firing on one group. So you've got to keep protect a group. I always making sure some cards are in a hold down position. Combat. Um, so combat does work a little bit different than a uh, two player game. The mechanics work the same, as in the dice you need to roll, how you fire works exactly the same. So the first number on the card, for example, it's Panther, it needs a three. It's SU 152, it needs a three. You roll the dice, just like the same as the two player game. And there is a separate video uh, to describe how combat works. It's very simple. You roll the dice you need, then the opposing uh, card rolls a saving throw to see if it saves against that attacking dice. 
However, in the two player game, if you want to attack with cards from this group and or cards from this group, you have to discard cards from your hand. Hence why you probably start the game with quite a big hand, because you're going to be discarding cards from here as you play through. Um, if I want to attack with this group, I discard a card, and that means I can attack with that group. I can attack with all those cards in that group. If I want to attack with this group, I have to discard another card. Another card. I cannot um, discard two cards and attack twice with that group. I have to go one and then one, like that. Um, the next phases would be rally and repair, or actually it's repair and rally in that order. Um, and again, because I'm the German player, if at any point I roll a one on my six-sided dice, <clears throat> then that card is, is broken down, just the same as the two-player game. Um, and this is the time I would choose to, to repair any cards that I might that I want to. And again, at the end of the my turn, I can rally any cards that are shaken. And again, uh, just uh, watch the advanced rules and the combat rules for how those mechanics work. They're all detailed in the PDF of the rules, so you can read them. Now, um, that's fundamentally how um, the Solitaire game works from, from the player's perspective. You are drawing cards from your hand. Uh, you'll notice that the Soviet deck, the opponent deck, has more cards in its deck because it draws less cards at the beginning. This means that in a, in a battle of attrition, the AI, the opposing deck, will win and you will lose. Um, as in, if you, run out, if you run out of cards, then you lose. Um, the opposing deck runs out of cards, they will lose. Um, so it gives that advantage to the, to the uh, opposing deck. So it basically stops players just going, hold down, hold down, hold down, and trying to play the defensive game. Um, there will be some... Um, special scenarios for Solitaire that are different ways of playing the game, different game modes that use the same mechanics, especially combat, uh, where that's not going to be the case. But in the normal fight fight, two pl uh, Solitaire game, sorry, um, that's how it works. Now for the opposition turn, uh, let's have a look at that for a minute. Let's just uh, move this out of the way. Let's focus on these guys here. Um, the first thing you can do is you can draw two cards. And you're going to place them randomly. Don't look at them. Replace them. Uh, put them into the opposing um, deck, into the opposing battle groups. So I put that card there, and that card there. Um, notice how the in the opposing uh, in the solitaire game in the AI deck they're taking two cards, and you're only taking one card. Um, they're reinforcing both of their two groups at the same point. Uh, obviously the cards go down face down and they go down in a hold down position um, as default. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to roll to see if any of the other opposing cards go down hold down. You roll a six sided dice for each card. If you get a six, they'll go hold down. So, uh, if you don't, then they will attack. Um, that's how that works. Combat uh, works fundamentally exactly the same as uh, as before, um, the way I like to do it is um, pretty. I like to keep things simple. So I literally go that card attacking that card, that card attacking that card, that card attacking that card. Um, because you don't know what the cards are when you're placing them, it gives that element of randomness to it. So you're never certain. Um, and uh, I also play when I play solitaire. I don't move the cards about to put weaker cards against the stronger cards. That just seems. Um, so that's not how it works. So this card will attack that one and roll and fire as normal, um, exactly the same way. Then after the combat's done, uh, if the opposing deck is the German deck, then they can do a repair rolls just like this, in, uh, just like you would do if you were the German deck. And again, they could rally any shaking cards. They do it automatically. You just roll the dice for them. So as you can see, the solitaire game for a straight up firefight is quick it's decisive um, it is designed I designed it very much so that you could play it in in literally half an hour um, and have some exciting and fun uh, uh, tank battles so you could make uh, strategic decisions based on whether you uh, how you want to start the game as to what cards you want to put in what battle groups 
uh, what cards you want to keep in your hand to be able to activate because you've got to discard two cards to activate both of those two uh, battle groups whereas the um, in this game in the tank battles game the rush uh, the Soviets the opposing force in this example the Soviets they don't have to discard any cards to attack you they do it for free um, so it makes that hand management uh, much more much more important so hopefully that gives you an overview of the, the basic form of a solitaire game. As I said, in this game, um, I've written and I'll be publishing them during the course of the Kickstarter, some very special uh, solitaire scenarios that actually change the way the game plays quite significantly. There's one where um, you've got a handful of uh, Russian tanks having to defend off against uh, wave after wave of, of uh, Russian tanks. So you've got some German tanks, sorry, defending against some Russian tanks. And uh, I'll explain how those work, and we're doing videos throughout the course of the Kickstarter campaign to explain that. Thank you for watching.